Welcome and thank you for being here today. My name is Alessandro Fama. I am looking forward to talking with you about WISE and Godot. In this talk, we will introduce our WISE integration, give you an overview of the features of the integration, including recorded demos. But before starting, let us introduce ourselves. My name is Alessandro Fama. I'm a music producer and programmer based in Cologne in Germany. I've been working in the music industry for a few years now, playing in a band called Mogelbaum and touring around the world. I started getting into audio programming two years ago, and since then I've been doing freelance work for indie projects and writing tutorials about audio middleware and so on. This project was a great opportunity to learn about Godot, and I hope that you will find this integration useful for your game projects. Hi, my name is Jorge Garcia, and I am an independent consultant currently based in Madrid, Spain. I've been working on games and audio products as an audio developer for about 10 years now. I've also contributed to some audio programming books in the past, as well as open source projects. Here's the outline of what we are going to cover in this talk. We are starting by briefly explaining what is WISE in case you don't know it already. Then we will present an overview of the WISE integration into Godot that we have made, as well as some demos. I will also mention where you can find the documentation and get started with the integration. Lastly, we will have some QA time over the chat. So, what is WISE? It's an audio middleware developed by Audio Kinetic, which is a company part of Sony Interactive Entertainment. The Audio Kinetic headquarters are in Montreal, Canada, and this middleware is one of the most used and well known in the industry, as it's closed platform and supports mobile, desktop, and consoles. It offers separated control for sound designers and audio programmers so that designers can integrate, design and prototype their audio content using an authoring app. The sound engine also provides support for specialization, integration with the authoring app via the WAPI, which is the WISE authoring API, as well as DSPLI plugins to support interactive and real-time soundscape design. Audio Kinetic offers commercial and non-commercial licensing for WISE, depending on your project nature and needs. In the next few slides, we'll give you an overview of the integration. The WISE integration is already available as a repository on GitHub under this link. So you can download or clone the integration, fork it, or freely use it in your projects. The integration is licensed under the MIT license. Please keep in mind that this integration is not meant to replace the Godot audio functionality, but offers an alternative to that. We have created this short video that will give you an overview of the features that are available in the integration. So at the moment we are supporting WISE version 2019.2.1 and we are planning to upgrade to a more recent version, but you can do it yourself if you want and need it by compiling the GD native wrappers that we offer for the WISE audio engine and the WAPI. At the moment we are supporting Windows, Mac OS, Linux, iOS and Android. 
and this wise sound engine can be accessed by GD script API so you can program the audio system for your game from the Godot editor. In order to help you with the wise integration into your Godot projects, we have also made an integration app to copy the necessary files and set up the Godot project. As part of the integration, we have created custom nodes for Godot, and this integration also supports the Spatial Audio API for acoustic simulation and the DSP plugins to help you create a richer and more sonically interesting experience. Your Godot game can also be connected to the authoring app, so you can profile what you are building in the game editor and, for instance, debug any playback issues you may be experiencing. Now Alessandro is going to guide you through some demos for the integration. Over to you, Alessandro. In the next few slides, I will go through some of the features of the video and demonstrate more in detail how the integration works. This quick demo, for example, will show you how to install the WISE integration in your Godot project. The installation process is a simple three steps process. We created a custom installation app for Windows and macOS in which you can select the platforms you wish to target and the path to your Godot project. The app will copy the required files to the project. You can verify that everything was correctly installed by looking at the plugins and autoload tabs of the project settings and see if WISE related entries are enabled. In the WISE project settings, make sure to disable the Use Soundbank Names checkbox and to enable the Generate Header File checkbox. Change the paths of the header file and banks so the point to the generated Soundbanks folder in your Godot project. Finally, after exporting the banks, use the provided Convert WISE IDs tool to convert the header file that contains the WISE IDs. This tool will generate a GDScript file with the converted WISE IDs that will be used by this integration to select WISE objects in the provided custom nodes and in the code. The integration is now ready to use. Here I will demonstrate how to play a short sound effect using the AK event node, which is a custom node provided by the WISE integration. Playing a simple sound effect with the provided custom nodes is easy. First, we need to load the bank containing the event we set up in WISE. Therefore, we add an AK bank node to the tree and load the demo bank when the node enters the tree. Then, we need a listener that can actually listen to the audio played by the WISE sound engine. The integration ships with a custom listener node for 3D and 2D games. The last step involves adding the AK event node to the tree. In this node, we can select our desired event from the dropdown list. We decide to play the event when the node is ready and start the scene to hear the sound effect. If we want to trigger a sound effect with a signal instead, we can simply connect to the AK event node and enter post event as the receiver method. Finally, we can also play audio by calling the corresponding WISE functions. Here, we are registering a WISE game object, setting the 3D position of the game object, and posting the event on the registered game object. This demo shows you how to use Visual Script in combination with WISE. The integration ships with some custom nodes that can be accessed from Visual Script. The integration ships with several custom Visual Script nodes you can easily use in your own Visual Scripts. You can access all the WISE related nodes with right click and by searching for the AK named nodes. Here is a simple example showing how to play a simple sound effect. When entering the tree, we load the bank containing the sound effect event and then we simply post the event. We can optionally pass a transform to the post event node to set the position of the WISE game object. Let's look at a more complicated example. Here we are also loading the demo bank when entering the tree and posting the event called Music Interactive. 
Then we wait for 10 seconds and set the state of the music state group to the state intense. Then we wait for another 10 seconds and set the state to calm. These two state changes will automatically fade in and out music loops according to the settings set up in the WISE authoring application. Finally, we set the value of a real-time parameter control called live to zero. Its default value is 100, and this parameter will also fade in a loop when its value becomes smaller. Here we are getting the value of the parameter from WISE at every frame. It's a float value that we will print to the output console. We check if this value is smaller than 10, and if this condition is true, we set the state of the music back to intense. Let's see if this works. Posting the event and waiting for 10 seconds. Setting the music state to intense. Setting the music state to calm. Setting the parameter to zero. And setting the music state back to intense. As you saw, you can use the provided custom visual script nodes to build complex audio interactions with WISE in your game. Callbacks are a powerful and useful feature when working with WISE events. Here I will show you how to set up callbacks with the provided AK event node. Let's look at the simple cube. I admit it's a pretty boring scene. But it would be great if we could use music to make it more interesting. With WISE, we can get some information about our music by using callbacks. For example, we could emit a signal at every beat of our music. Let's have a quick look at how that works. In the AK event node, we enable callbacks and check the actual callbacks we want to use. In this case, it would be the music sync beat callback. Then, we connect a corresponding signal to a receiver method of a script. In this case, it's a script on the cube. The data parameter is a dictionary containing information about the music. Let's see what it prints. We get some information about the music segment, the current position, milliseconds, and so on. What is interesting is that this method will be called at every beat. So let's try something fun and easy, for example, changing the color of this cube's material at every beat. Okay, <laughs> this will not win any prize for art direction, but you get the point. It's easy to get information about our music and let our game react to audio. It doesn't take too long to connect a few more signals to other nodes and to get things moving. Did you notice this black pose? If we look at the WISE project, we can see it's a text queue embedded in the audio file. In similar fashion to the beat callback, we can get these queues with the music sync user queue callback. Let's try to display a text when this happens. In the AK event node, we select music sync user queue as a callback, then connect the corresponding signal to this label node I created previously. Let's see what the data prints. Okay, here's our user queue. Let's quickly write some code to change the text when we get the post queue and see if it works. The WAPI Picker is an editor add-on we created to easily access the WISE project. 
In this demo, I will give you a quick overview of the WAPI Picker. The WAPI Picker allows you to get a quick overview of your WISE project directly inside Godot. For the picker to work, you need to have the WISE project opened in the background. Then, you can click on the Refresh Project button to populate the picker with WISE objects. The items in the tree are exactly the objects you have created in the WISE project. Here, you can find the events, for example or the states, or the created sound banks. If you have made changes to the Vice project, you can also directly export the sound banks by clicking on the Export Sound Banks button. You can verify that the sound banks got exported by looking at the confirmation message in the output console. One cool feature you can find in the WAPI picker is that you can directly drag and drop Vice items into the viewport and integration will automatically create the corresponding custom nodes. Dragging events will create the AK event nodes, states AK state, and banks will create the AK bank nodes. We have created a wiki page in the GitHub repository to help you get started with integration. It covers information about projects, exporting the available APIs in the GD native wrappers as well as documentation for the nodes and various tutorials. We hope you find it useful. It doesn't matter if you already experience advice or just interested in programming. Please feel free to try out the integration and to report any issues on GitHub. You're very welcome to contribute and to help us make this integration better. We will be here in the next minutes for questions and answers but you can still send me an email if there isn't any more time left later on. I will be happy to answer your questions. Thank you for listening and thanks to the Godocon team for organizing this event. See you next time.